Good morning, my friends. Happy Saturday. I'm just over here licking cream cheese off forks. No big deal. NVD. I hope you all had a night, good night's rest. I am running a little late this morning because I get out a little late. Not that late, it was like 7.30. Um, and I went to the grocery store to get turkey and cream cheese for this recipe that I'm gonna make. It's gonna be delicious. It looks so good, I cannot wait to try it. I gotta get over here on the face space so I can see all your beautiful faces. Oh, look at that. Joyful Life is now live. Good morning, Krista, Pamela, Anne-Marie, hi. Um, I'm not wearing my glasses today. I haven't worn contacts a year and a half, maybe? I think it's been a year and a half. You like my hair, Cindy? It's really full on this side. And not so full. <laughs> oh, but I'm not wearing my glasses today. So there's that. Thanks, guys. It's miserable here today. I shouldn't say that. It's sunny. I am sick of the weather in Maine. I am sick to death of 40s. I have been annoyed all week about it. I've been in a funk all week. So this morning I'm like, I gotta get up and put on some makeup. <laughs> Cause I am over this weather. I'm sick of it. So th this morning on the way to the grocery store, I cracked open the sunroof and turned the weather on, or the weather, turned the heater on as hot as I could get it to go. <laughs> So it felt like summer. I put on my sunglasses and I cracked out. So I felt the little breeze, but I felt the heat from the heater. Because it's 46, it's cold, and I'm sick to death of it. <laughs> I guess I gotta lift this a little so you can see my whole head and not just the top of my, not just my cheeks. There, all right. Okay, guys. Yeah, sunny here too, but chilly, and I'm sick. You can see my eyes. <laughs> Cindy, look, I have eyes under those glasses. Did you know that? And I have makeup. And I did my eyebrows. And I put on um, mascara. I usually don't do much to my eyes because I wear my glasses. So. <laughs> you didn't know I really had eyes under those glasses, did ya? I don't wear my glasses. I mean, I don't wear my contacts often because I'm convinced that if I'm walking through a store with my um, glasses on, it's protecting me from COVID wind. <laughs> and so I went into the store this morning not wearing my glasses and I felt super vulnerable. <laughs> I was like, every time somebody walked past me, I'd be like, don't spray your COVID into my eyeballs. Isn't that stupid? It's so ridiculous, but. I can't get over it. <laughs> it's just who I am. <laughs> All right, guys, listen, before I start cooking, I need to put on an apron because I don't want to get my, my summer spring shift dress that I have on with socks and leggings because my legs are cold. Um, but I got a new apron delivered yesterday and I have to wear it. It is the best thing I've ever seen. Let me just tell you, look, I didn't even take the tag off it yet. All right. I'll give you one guess who sent this to me, and I bet you'll all get it on the first try. Check this apron out. Can you see what it says? <laughs> Check that out. Is that not the best thing you've ever seen? And I can't wrap it all the way. I'm going to wrap it from the back. Oh my gosh. It is I died when I opened this in the mail and I knew immediately it had to have been Bonnie. And then she messaged me like a couple minutes later after I got the package. Did you happen to get a package? I'm like, yes, girl. <laughs> is that not hysterical? <laughs> Chef Ramsay is my spirit animal. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I love it. It's just, it's so funny. It's 
It's so funny. Oh my gosh. I love me some beef Ramsey. All right. Let me get out my bowl. I have wanted to make this cheesecake. What? I got all my ingredients out, but do you think I could have gotten my pan? Oh, no. Why? Why, why not? Complicate everything. It's stacked under all my silicone stuff. All right. I just made that way more complicated than it needed to be. All right. I have this awesome new spring form pan that I haven't even taken the tags or anything off yet that Kathy Cummings, when I sent her um, some peanut butter cheesecake, when she finished the cheesecake and saw just how absolutely pathetic my shape, my spring form pan was in, she took a picture of it in the trash can. She threw it away. She threw it away and got it out. And got it out. I don't know. I can't talk normal this morning. She threw it away and bought me a new one. Girl, you are. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Well, now I'm never going to wear my glasses again. I'll be hiding my beauty. No, I, I think now that it's summer, on the weekends, I'll be wearing my glasses a lot because I, I have sunglass attachment to my glasses, but... I get tired of wearing glasses in the sun. Like when I go to the beach, I want sunglasses that I can put on top of my head and take off. And so I have my fancy purple shades that I like to wear. So in the summer, I will tend to wear my glasses, my, my contacts more on the weekends. During the week, I'm not gonna waste money on contacts because I'm, I'm not leaving the house. So, all right. I printed off this whole recipe. I have, I had nothing on my counter when I taught, when I started this except a hairbrush and some eczema cream. Cause that belongs on, both of those things belong on your kitchen counter, right? Hairbrushes and eczema cream. Oy. Um, but speaking of eczema, I keep telling everybody it's the bread. I have not had bread in weeks and I am completely flared up. So it hit me last night. You know what, Kelly? KJ, it's probably not a food allergy. Stop thinking it is. It's just eczema. Get over it. Put your prescription medicine on and move on. Stop trying to figure out what's causing you to flare up. It's not the food. It's just eczema. Just put your prescription on and stop. So I did. I went last night and put my prescription. Anyway, I try to diagnose myself. I have a bad habit of diagnosing myself and I'd convinced myself it was a food allergy but when I eat bread it does get worse so I'm still thinking it's a little bit that but I convinced myself I have these things and then I try to solve them when really the doctor solved it a long time ago when he gave me medicine for it I just don't like using it why I don't know I'm afraid it's gonna make my hair fall out <laughs> I don't want my hair to fall out I'd look really bad bald you guys anyway all right Cookie dough base. If you didn't see the link that I posted earlier, this stuff is legit drool worthy looking. I have been wanting to make this forever and <clears throat> I decided this was the week. I'm gonna have this for my snacky poo in the afternoon at 3 p.m. every day and I can't wait. So it's a lot of ingredients and it's probably kind of a heavy ass, but I don't care. I'm gonna eat it every day for a snack. I'm just gonna have a little skinny one. Um, I had fathead pizza dough, Cindy, so it was mostly cheese. <laughs> you don't think it makes your hair fall out, Bonnie? I don't know, I'm just convinced because it's a prescription and it's gonna make my hair fall out. I have, um, I have a little bit of psycho in me and I convince myself of things that I don't need to convince myself of. Like for a long time, the whole year of COVID, 2020, I 100% convinced myself I had, right up until the mid middle of July, I 100% convinced myself that I had lung cancer, you guys, L lung cancer, because I was very, very sick in January, like really sick um, for three weeks. It was, ugh. they said it was pneumonia but they couldn't really find pneumonia that in my lungs, but I was, I couldn't breathe. I felt like I was underwater. I'm pretty sure 
now that I look back on it, that maybe I had COVID because I was, ooh, baby, I was sick and I had zero energy. Well, um, then I had lingering pain in my shoulder. And if you Google trouble breathing and lingering pain in your shoulder, you'll find diagnoses for cancer. <laughs> So I had all year last year convinced myself, this is what I do. I Google, I Google things and I convince myself I have problems. And so I went to my doctor in June and he's like, okay, we are going to send you to the shoulder specialist because I don't think you have lung cancer. Your lungs sound beautiful. I think you're freaking out over nothing. So I'm going to send you to the shoulder specialist to have it looked at. And I'm going to put you on a medication <laughs> to maybe help your anxiety. And holy Hannah changed my life, let me tell you. Went, took me from crazy pants, googly Google, to finding out that I had calcific tendonitis in my shoulder and that's why I couldn't lift my arm. It really wasn't uh, cancer. It was, I needed a major shoulder surgery. <laughs> which I had and now my shoulder doesn't hurt and I can do this and I couldn't do this before. <laughs> but, you know, Dr. Google is not always right, so stay away from him. He's a jerk. Dr. Google is a jerk. Yeah, I know, I know, Bonnie, I, I do. I, but I'm way better now. <laughs> There's meds for that. <gasps> All right, I should get started and stop running my face, right? I mean, at some point I should cook since this is a cooking show. All right, two cups of almond flour. That's just a wee bit. There's a lot of coconut flour. Um, they completely removed it. It, it. I had some arthritis, surely, but it was cal calcium buildup, which they say even a tiny little, it's funny, there's a tiny little pebble can be, make it hurt. Mine was about that big underneath my rotator cuff. So they had to cut my rotator cuff out, remove that stuff and replace it and like anchor it and all that stuff. Whew. Girl, let me tell you what, that was no little surgery, but she's done. And now my arm doesn't hurt. Now I can like lift things. Nikki, is this not the best apron you've ever seen in your entire life? This is from Bonnie. Crazy Pants Bonnie, who I love and sends me hilarious stuff. <laughs> I friggin' love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. Um, eight tablespoons of butter. It is eight tablespoons in a stick, right? I didn't even look. I think it is. We're gonna go with it. Two ounces of cream cheese. I got 10 ounces out here. This top gob is two ounces. That bottom gob is eight. <laughs> That's how I measure things in gobs. Um, half a cup of joy filled eat sweetener, which according to her is the equivalent of gentle sweet. I got out all my stuff except this. I'm sure there's something else I forgot, but <laughs> all right. No, Dr. Google is a jerk. Yep, Shirley, it was a serious surgery, but I'm so, when I first came out of surgery and got home, I thought, oh boy. I'm not glad I did this. I am now very, very glad I did this because it was intense, the pain in that shoulder. I'm telling you what, it was bad. All right, I, I didn't think shoulder pain could be that bad. It just had to be cancer. <laughs> Ugh, teaspoon of molasses. All right, a lot of people say, how can you have teaspoon of molasses in, <laughs> in um, that's, so right, Petrina, within a week. Yep, life expectancy, three days after reading this article. Um, people think, how can this be low carb with a whole teaspoon of sweetener? Well, this has, I don't know how many servings, I can't remember, but it equals out to 0.5 of a, tea, of a carb per serving with that much molasses. So it ain't nothing. It ain't no thing. Ain't enough to hurt. And it totally makes it taste like cookie dough, according to her. I don't know, because I haven't made it yet. Oh my gosh, Donna, yes we did. I am so glad we made it to Saturday. Sierra Leone, what? How cool. I bet it's hot there. 
I bet it's not 46 and windy like it is here in Maine. Stupid Maine. I'm so glad we made it to Saturday. I didn't think I was gonna. This has been a week. It's just been one of those weeks. Funk all week long. Didn't really want to function at all. But I did it. I got through the week. And this coming week's going to be better. I can feel it in my bones. My kids always ask me what they do with the rest of the mole. I don't get it. The rest of the mole. I must have missed a comment. I don't get it. <laughs> Well, Ashley, if you wanna, if you wanna come um, to Maine, make sure you come in July, late July or August. Oh, molasses! I got you now, Bonnie. <laughs> be doing with this am I like supposed to stir this first everything except the chocolate chips I did the butter I'm not even doing the ingredients in order vanilla coconut flour that wretched stuff Ugh, I hate this stuff but it'll be all right this tiny bit in this whole big recipe there must be a purpose if it's two whole cups of almond flour but only two teaspoons of coconut flour there must be a reason behind it all right, it says to stir it well. I think I should have gotten out my mixer and I think I'm going to. Screw that noise. I am not gonna stand here and stir that. I'm going with a mixer like a normal human. She says to mix with a wooden spoon. <laughs> no. I'm sure it does, Bonnie. Oh, it has, Kimberly, I'm sorry. I don't know what it was this week. It's the weather and just a lot going on at work. And I don't know. I've just been in a funk all week. You know what? I know what it is. I may not deal with certain womanly things anymore, but they still come make their way around emotionally. And I think that's probably what it was. This mixer's fine body. It can handle it. probably going to regret this because it's going to make it dry and crumbly and I'm going to need to add water. Whatever. And then I will. Oh, uh, that's that. Because this last week was my last... Oh, my word, Donna. Good for you. I dream of being part-time. I dream of retiring. I can't wait. I'm gonna retire someday. I'm determined. Coconut flour and get over it, Bonnie. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, this looks like cookie dough. Like, oh, why did I do that? Let's, let's do it again. Let's cookie dough. I just flung that everywhere. So, look, there's a piece way over there. on my computer tastes like cookie dough all right one half cup of chocolate sugar-free chocolate chips so which ones should I use let's get out my Bonnie I think that sounds like a fabulous idea that sounds like a fabulous idea I got white chocolate he's way older than me I'll be moved on to my second husband by then by retirement age I'm kidding. I won't be moving. I won't be getting married again. Who needs that? All right. White chocolate chips, mint. Don't want that. Don't want butterscotch. I got milk chocolate lilies and milk chocolate bake believe in semi sweet. I think I'll go with milk chocolate lilies. I think that's what I'm going to do. I know, the idea of a second husband is the funniest thing I ever heard. Who'd do this twice? <sighs> oh, Karen. I am so lucky. I'm, I can't retire for a long time. 
semi-sweet is best in cookie dough. All right. All right. Bonnie knows best. Ooh, those milk, those Lily's milk chocolate are good though. Um, I have 24 years before I can retire. 24 years. How stupid is that? That's not even right. Who came up with that rule? You guys, go follow me on Rumble so I can become a millionaire and quit my job. <laughs> I love my job, but I can't go 24 years. I'm gonna do it. It's not gonna happen. I won't make it. All right. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. That's why I'm eating chocolate chips, so why? All right. <gasps> my boss is watching and I just talked about not wanting my job anymore. <clears throat> Dawn, you'll be retiring before me. <laughs> Cause you're so much older than me. Like, I don't know, like at least six years, right? If I can make it to your retirement, I'll be happy. <laughs> I thought you were eating popcorn and watching TV and you're sitting here watching me. You don't have a life, Dawn. Bonnie clap, that's not true. I'm Dawn's favorite employee. Don't tell any of our other employees. <laughs> that's okay, because she's my favorite too. All right. Oh my God. That's, oh, I don't need to put that in a pan. Oh my. I'm really hungry this morning. Oh my word, you guys are two. You're getting so scared in October. I don't want to talk to people that get to retire now. <laughs> I can't be happy for you. All right. <laughs> Do I need to spray anything on the bottom of this pan? just as press in the bottom of a pan. I find it hard to believe I don't know. I mean, I find it hard to believe I don't need to. Should I spray this pan? It's no bake. Is it gonna stick? I know what I need. I need parchment. I need parchment. That'll, that'll fix it. Um, no, for real, for clarity purposes, for Dawn, and everyone else, I adore my job. I just don't want to have to work. <laughs> if I have to work, I'm happy I'm doing what I'm doing. I just wish I didn't have to work. I just want to be rich, you guys, so I don't have to. So I can, like, travel to Nashville anytime I want and see Bonnie. <laughs> All right. I have to focus. I can't talk and cut at the same time or I'll cut it into a triangle by mistake. There. I knew the recipient said to double the cookie dough. What did somebody say? I can't, I missed that comment. I just said it, double the cookie dough. So you can eat <laughs> while making your cheesecake. Yes, I drew a circle for spawning. <laughs> I know. I left Dawn once and went to another job and then I regretted it immediately because I missed Dawn. She's the world's best boss. If you're looking for a job, apply to work with her. She doesn't have any openings, but you know, you can try anyway. <laughs> She's pretty much the world's best. I mean, I think Gordon Ramsay would be a little bit better, but she's pretty good. Oh my gosh. I don't want to put this in here. I want to eat it all. It looks so good. It doesn't just look good. It tastes good. It tastes legit like cookie dough, you guys. I should have made this last night so Dawn could have had some. Speaking of last night, 
we made, and by we I mean me, made barbecue chicken pizza. And I'm telling you right now, best on plan pizza I have ever made. It was delicious. It was, um, what was it? It was fathead dough. And then you have the spatula, Bonnie. I wonder why. Did you buy it off my links? Um, anyway, it was fathead pizza dough. And then I posted the recipe for the barbecue sauce I used. I made a barbecue sauce, poured that on top, topped it with mozzarella and bacon. And then I took, no, I can't taste the coconut flour. Nope. Um, Um, oh, that's so good, that stuff. Um, anyway, what was I saying? I forgot already. Oh, mozzarella and bacon. And then I took chicken breast that I had, I had to cook up a bunch of chicken breast because my freezer started to thaw, so I had a whole bunch of cooked chicken breast that I cooked that day. Shredded it, put it, um, mixed it in with some of the barbecue sauce and put that on top of the cheese and then baked it until it was crispy and yummy. And then I topped it with some spinach and baked it for another minute or two. <gasps> you guys, it was delicious, delicious. I'm just gonna look this cookie dough off these things real quick. Cause I don't wanna, you know, waste that. In the pizza, mozzarella and bacon. <laughs> it was good and I might have it for supper, left over. I don't know, we're probably gonna go to Five Guys. All right, I've got my cookie dough crust. Look at that, holy Hannah. Like I could just, that's not the recipe right there. Will I add what to my website, Shirley? The, oh, the bacon, oh yes, I could make that one of my recipes. I never think to do that. I'll do it, Shirley, on it. I'll do that this afternoon. I've got a whole bunch of, oh, I got a chunk of cookie dough over here on my computer. I better eat that. I missed it. Where did it go? Did it go in my mouth? I don't know how I missed that target. My favorite sipper for bloat. My favorite sipper for bloat is right here. Water. Honestly, deep S's work the best for bloat, in my opinion. All right, now I gotta make the cheesecake. I need another bowl. Is that one dirty? Let me wash my bowl. Cream cheese filling. <sighs> yes, in Madonna bottle. That's right. That's exactly what I call this too, Madonna bottle. You don't like watching people wash dishes, Bonnie? <laughs> oh, I made a beautiful apple fritters. What? Where's that recipe, Sarah? Send it. I want fuel pull apple fritters in the air fryer live. I make those live. I just got a message from the bug guys that they're on their way. We're on our way. You said you weren't gonna be here till 12, so. Okay, eight ounces of cream cheese for the cheesecake filling. One cup of cottage cheese. You, Meredith. All right, it's still good. Yes, Sarah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Send me the recipe, girl. I want to make it. I like fuel pull ideas. Um, that's half a cup. That 
sounded nasty. <laughs> I doubt it, Bonnie. <laughs> I don't care if they are. <laughs> Another half cup of cottage cheese. All right, so a whole cup of cottage cheese. Half a cup of sweetener, so half a cup of my gentle. I need a clean, a clean half a cup. Of course I don't have a clean one. Why would I? Half a cup of gentle sweet. Quarter cup of sour cream. This has got some quite a bit of ingredients in this recipe. It's about all I got left and I just got back from the store and do you think I would have bought some sour cream? No, why would I? Because then I wouldn't need to go back to the store 16 times in a week. And that looks about right. Well, I just flung that all over my computer too. That poor computer, it takes a beating. All right, sour cream, half a teaspoon of vanilla. No. My second husband is either non-existent or loaded with money. Where, hold on. Gotta open the curtains. All right, I gotta open the curtains so I can see. I know she does, Cindy does fantastic. She even messaged me right before I went to the store and said, don't forget the spinach. I'm like, I won't, I did it. I already bought the spinach. I actually remembered that one. All right, so this said, this said to do it in a food processor. Well, I don't have a food processor, so I'm just gonna process it right here in my mixer. Cause I can, and that's what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna see how it goes. All right. Thank you, Sarah. mutilate the cottage cheese so I'm gonna have to it's not gonna fit my ninja I don't want to put it in Brenda where's my ninja it's up here I don't know if this will fit in my ninja if not I'll have to do it in a couple of different um, a couple of different batches let's see maybe it will let's see because I need to break up that cottage cheese I don't want lumpy cheesecake Oh, it ain't all gonna fit, is it? I got hair on my face. All right, maybe it is gonna fit. Yes, Suzanne. Why didn't I think of that? I should have been looking at the comments because an immersion blender would have worked. Whatever. I, I never do anything right. <laughs> All right. Let me plug this baby in. says while the machine is running slowly sprinkle in the gelatin well I can't do that so I'm just gonna pop it in there and then zing it up 
two tablespoons of gelatin. I'm getting my apron dirty. Two tablespoons of gelatin. I will sprinkle one in and then mix it and then I'll do another. That is putting it to work. It is barely hold, keeping up. Barely, because that is full to the brim. All right, one more. This is tablespoons, right? Yeah. One more tablespoon of gelatin. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Donna. It's awful. It scares me. Like, I'm not scared of COVID, but then I am scared of COVID. Makes me nervous hearing yeah, about these people in the hospital. But I am not, I'm not scared. I know the Lord has it. It's just, you know, it's a little scary at times. I go through phases where I'm like, stupid COVID, it ain't even real. And then I go through phases where I'm like, oh yeah, she's real. <laughs> and I get all anxious and nervous. Oh. All right, what next? Where's my, where's my spatula? Oh, my kitchen is a wreck. All right, and then I just pour it, right? Was there any special step I needed to do next? While machine is running, slowly sprinkle the gelatin, spread cheesecake mixture on top of cookie dough. Oh my gosh. Kathy, I would be happy to. I would love to jump in the car right now and head to Florida. I'm trying to talk my husband on going to, on vacation somewhere warm, but I can't. <laughs> I can't seem to talk him into it. I'm like, can we just, like, I don't just want to go on a road trip. Somewhere warm. We are supposed to go to Boston in July to see Dude Perfect, but they rescheduled that. So now that's in October, which is actually a nice time to go to Boston. So, so now we like to go to Santa's Village in New Hampshire a couple times this summer. That's our family place we love very much love but I want to go to like Myrtle Beach that's awesome Kathy I'm glad I'm so jealous Bonnie oh I want to go to I, I want to go Myrtle Beach Florida I don't know anywhere <laughs> Shirley <laughs> that might be a bit much <laughs> traveling all over the country Sierra Leone. All right. There's the cheesecake filling. Holy moly, I am happy about this. Mm -hmm. You are, Shirley? We always go to Polly's Island when we're down there. We, we honeymooned in... Um, um, South Carolina on uh, Isle of Palms. I'm almost done with co my isolation and COVID. Thankfully, it's been quite mild. I was afraid of it because I tend to get bronchitis. Well, that's why I'm afraid of it, Kristen. I have asthma. And when I get sick, I tend to get really wheezy. I can't breathe. And so that's why COVID makes me so nervous. I do need to get myself an RV. Oh my gosh, look at all these people close to Myrtle. And Nikki's down there. I could go see Nikki. All right, make the ganache by heating the cream until bubbly in the microwave or using a small saucepan, which I think is what I'm gonna do because I don't want it to bubble all through my microwave. My mother cleaned my microwave and I wanna keep it clean for at least a couple of weeks. Did I just dip my hair in the cheesecake? Four to six hours? Oh no, that's refrigerating. I'm not gonna cook it for four to six hours. Then I gotta put it in a food processor. Oh, 
pour over chopped chocolate. How much chocolate? I need four ounces of heavy cream. How much is four ounces? That's a half a cup. And I don't have heavy cream, I have half and half, so that's what I'm using. And I don't know if it's gonna work the same as heavy cream in a ganache. I don't know, but we're about to find out. So, let me wash my blender. Wait, let me get my cream on. <laughs> half a cup. Wait, what? Half a cup? Four ounces. That's half a cup. Four ounces of heavy cream or half and half in this case because that's what I have. Get it boiling. Wash my blender. I know how much you love to watch this, how much you enjoy watching me wash a blender. exciting that 30 seconds was right there thanks for sticking with me huh. I can't imagine living in Orlando near all those parks how busy it must get do you do you ever go to the parks at all Melissa do you ever go or is it like old news since you live there, so you never go? Or do you have like a, where did I put my chopper? Right there. Four ounces of dark chocolate. I have this one that I may or may not have taken a bite out of already. This is three and a half ounces, so we're gonna call this close to an half with a little bit of lilies. every time. All right. Six tablespoons of sweetener. Holy Hannah. All right. Pour the boiling cream over the chocolate. Oh, I'm not supposed to put it in here yet. Well, then you need to come up here, Sarah. All right, I wasn't supposed to put it in here yet. It says, pour the cream over the chocolate. It's very specific. Look at my countertop. So I'm gonna do that. Wait, if I do that, I'm sure there's a way easier, easier way to do this, but I'm making it way more complicated than it needs to be. Stir it until the chocolate melts. Add the sweetener and stir until smooth and then transfer to a small blender. Who's Hannah? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> holy Hannah. <laughs> she probably doesn't know. All right, pour the hot bubbly cream over the chocolate. Stir it until it melts. Okay, I'm doing it. This is a lot of steps, Jen, but I have a feeling it's gonna be worth it. If you could see my counter, <laughs> it is just completely covered in stuff. Orkin's here. Hold on. I don't even know if that was my husband or my daughter that got up. Hold on, guys. Tony, is that you?
I'm really sorry. Talk, to monk, talk amongst yourself and I'll be back. guys I'm back <laughs> sorry I hope I didn't ruin my ganache I had to go wake the husband up he was still sleeping <laughs> oh the Orkin said they would be here 12 to 2 and they got here an hour early and I don't appreciate that to be perfectly honest when you tell me 12 don't get here 11 <sighs> that's right I'm paying them a lot of money to get rid of my ticks, so I kind of got to go talk to them all right can you even you can't even see what I'm doing this camera setup stresses me out no Tanya I never did <laughs> oh ours does too Sarah although we were told the other day that we can go outside now without our masks on you guys, I went for ice cream a couple of weeks ago with my daughter, and it's in this huge outdoor parking lot, like huge parking lot. There was two other people in the parking lot, and they were way over there. And I said to my daughter, we are not wearing a mask. We're going outside to eat ice cream. We're not going to wear a mask. It's dumb. There's nobody out here, and I'll throw the money at the ice cream guy so he doesn't have to get so close to me. I did that. And I got the dirtiest looks from the other people there, the other two people that were outside with their masks. And I, you know what? Too bad I ain't wearing it. Right, Renee? It's shocking. She she didn't. Our special doctor, Nirov, did. Oh, hey, hey. I'm just tired of it all. I've had my fill. All right. Add the sweetener. I'm supposed to do that before I put it in there. Add the sweetener. How much sweetener? Six tablespoons. Man, I am going through some gentle sweet this morning. This better be worth it. Kathy, what? Ew. Gross. Ugh. We rarely get ticks ever out here, but Marin came in with one the other day. We've never treated for ticks. We had no intention of doing it this year, but there have been so many. My coworkers are saying they're taking tons of ticks off their animals, and we like to go outside and play with the dog, and I like to go zip it. We like to go sit in the backyard, and I don't wanna have to worry about ticks, so we sucked it up and we're paying to have them murdered so we don't have to worry about it. Oh yeah, he's a superstar in Maine, Renee. He's a big superstar. Oh jeez, gag me. All right, <laughs> sorry. I just need to shut up. All in my head. <laughs> I don't want to get silenced. All right, let me zing this up. Let me first. I gotta lick that chocolate. Now it says transfer, which I did. Process for a minute or two until thick and shiny. This really ensures the, a smooth ganache topping. Pour into the cheesecake and gently spread. All right, so one minute and counting. Talk amongst yourselves. Interesting, Sarah. Where do you get that? Where do you get cedar size? This is a hundred dollars a month for the next five months for them to take care of it. And then I don't have to worry about it. And if you see any tips in that time, they'll come back and take care of it. So. This, this skinny scraper, there's this one, 
which is the balm, and I have a link in, at the top of, on my Facebook page, a link for this, and then my other one that I've been using this morning. That other one that I've been using this morning is amazing. It's my favorite spatula. This one right here that's covered in chocolate. I should clean it off so you can see it. Mmm, this one. It's the best. Man, that is some goodness right there. <sighs> Cindy, I put contacts in today. I decided to wear my contacts. Did you wear your glasses today? Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna lick off my blade. And it's okay. It's not the end of the world if I cut my tongue. It will be worth it for licking off that blade. This is how people cook, for real. All right, move this back here. Maybe you can see what I'm, not that you don't know how to pour and spread chocolate on your cheesecake. I think you can figure it out without my help, but not that the, any of this video is helpful to you whatsoever. I mean, any of you can follow this recipe, right? <laughs> Oh my word, I wanna stick my face in that chopper. Probably a good idea. Oh, cause then he needs to be in for two hours? For about a half an hour. Oh, he's been, that's fine. He was out a couple hours ago. He's fine then. All right. They're spraying for ticks. They're gonna murder those little horrid things. half an hour. You've got to stay in for a whole half hour. How will you ever survive? All right. Yeah, I did, Bonnie. And now I'm going to like this. Uh, okay. Uh, real life. Don't tell me you ain't doing it. Because I know. <laughs> I know you are. It is in my world, Josie. Oh my gosh, a mealworm in your potato chips? Ew, that's a good reason not to eat potato chips. I found a mealworm in my ramen noodles once when I was a kid, but it was because they were expired by like a year and a half and I was eating them anyway. <laughs> all right guys, that's it, look at that. You can't even see it. You've seen all the layers as I ate them. Oh my gosh, that cheesecake, I cannot wait to shove my entire face into it. If I didn't care about what people would think, I would probably, right now. <laughs> it looks amazing balls. Kathy Cummings, if you're watching, I was gonna bring you a piece, but I'm, now I'm not sure, because I might wanna eat the whole thing. <gasps> you're trying to make this with me, Nikki? I move it about as slow as I can. <laughs> I will come on later, not live, but I'll show you a picture of this when it's all done and cut into slices. It is. Kathy probably will get some. You're growing them? Mealworms? Like on purpose? Ugh. Bonnie, don't tempt me. I will legit stick my whole face in this cheesecake right now. Don't hurt my, if my hair didn't look so stinking fabulous and my makeup didn't come out so good, I would totally do it. <laughs> All right, I'm sticking that baby in the fridge next to my leftover barbecue chicken pizza. I gotta move the cupcakes out of there. I got one cupcake left. Those cupcakes lasted me all week. They were divine. Chocolate cupcakes, peanut butter frosting. Now this is gonna be my dessert for the whole week. All right, you guys, that's it for this cheesecake. I'd love to show you the outcome, but you're gonna have to wait. Nikki, that would have been genius to do. It would have taken me a lot longer, but man, it would definitely help with the portion size. Smarty pants, that is smart. Thank you, Shirley. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Donna. You guys, you know how to make a girl feel loved. <laughs> All 
All right, tell me more. Keep going, keep going. Bonnie, so, that sounds amazing. Somebody told me that you can make fudge. What was the recipe Sean gave me? It was a stick of butter. I wrote it down and totally forgot. A stick of butter, a cup of peanut butter, and something else. Shoot, I shouldn't have said anything because now I'm, I don't remember what it was. I will figure it out. But it was a peanut butter fudge recipe that had three ingredients. Oh, it was sweetener. It was, it was, uh, um, Swerve, swerve, a cup of swerve, a cup of peanut butter, and a stick of melted butter. Melt it together, put, put it in a pan, and stick it in the fridge, and it supposedly will make peanut butter fudge. <laughs> Thanks, Faith. <laughs> All right, you guys, I am going to clean up my kitchen because it's now a hot mess. But after I clean up my kitchen, I'm going to come back on and do another live video. Um, but this one is going to be a tutorial for those of you who have purchased the Ninja um, Smart Grill XL um, that I have this one right here behind me. That thing. Oh, I'm pointing at the screen. It's five, it's five months or four months or four five months, five hundred dollars. Uh, they told me I had to pay ninety nine a month. No, it's ninety nine a month, but it's going to be for five. Yeah, five May, months. June, July, August, September. Yeah. Uh, Five May, months. June, July, August, she said, four months. We'll figure it out after. She said he said you can quit any time. Yeah, yeah, she said to August was all we would probably need. So we'll figure it out. Yeah, we probably won't do September, but anyway. All right, guys, um, I will clean up. And like I said, I'm going to do a tutorial on the Ninja um, air fryer. So if you have one and it intimidates you, I am no expert, but I'm going to make um, a burger and some fries in it and some buns. I'm going to make my whole meal in it. It will take longer for me to do it than it will for you because I'll be running my face at the same time. Um, but it is an awesome tool and I know some of you are super intimidated by it. Um, so I'm going to show you how I use it and I'm not going to say that this, it's the right way because I haven't read the user manual. <laughs> will you dress up like a ninja for it? No, buddy, I won't. <laughs> but I will be back in a few minutes, probably 15 minutes or so by the time I clean up and get my parts of my meal ready. That's why I didn't eat breakfast, because I'm going to have lunch super early. Um, all right. Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for joining. Thanks for all the ridiculous comments. I love you all. <laughs> You're so much fun. Um, my link at the top of this page where you can find all the things that I cook with, my Ninja um, chopper, my spatula, all my good things, my Ninja air fryer that I'm about to use, all those things are linked at the top of my page. I'd love it if you'd hop on over to Rumble and give me a follow over there. I would love it if you'd help me out. I'm trying to build that over there, so I'd really appreciate it. Um, and that's it. Oh, if you're interested in group coaching, the next group coaching session is starting on June 1st, and it's going to be a beginner's class, but if you are not a beginner, it will still be okay for you to join if you want. Um, you can do a refresher, just remind yourself all the details of the plan, as well as get lots of support and fun and encouragement. And Bonnie's going to help me out. So y'all are going to have, it's going to be great. So, okay, you guys, I love you all. Thank you so much for joining and I will see you all in a little bit.